Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to build an e-commerce store with WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14 using eSuite set of tools. Now, the eSuite set of tools are as an extension that you have to install first before it becomes available in your toolbox. If I come to my toolbox, I don't currently have it available. So I'm going to go ahead to install it from my extension manager. So I'm going to come to my extension manager under tools and then I'll click on OK on this um, particular notice and then I'm going to go to all under online gallery and then it is going to give me the chance to load all the extensions which are available to be installed so I'm going to go ahead to search for eSuite and then I'm going to go ahead to install it on my system so this extension is going to be installed and then the eSuite set of extensions or tools becomes available in my ways we will be at version 14. Now you can follow through using version 12 with this tutorial and everything should work perfectly well as well. So my extension is installed. I'm going to go ahead to close this and then I'm going to locate it in my toolbox. So I come to the very bottom and as you can see I have my eSuite set of extensions installed here. Now there are a couple of options available to it. We have the horizontal categories, we have language, we have the mini cut, we have the product browser, as well as we have the search and then the vertical categories. Now I'll be working with a couple of these one, that is I'll be working with a search as well as I'll be working with a mini cut and then a product browser. Now using the issue set of tools, there are a couple of options available to you, whether to use layers or to use layout grid. Now I'm going to use layout grid in this tutorial. Before then, I'm going to use layers so that I show you the reason why layers wouldn't be a best fit for using the eSuite set of tools in Wizard Web Builder version either 14 or 12. Now to show you what I mean, I'm going to get started here by bringing in a layer. So I click on the layer and then I'm going to draw here. Let me just come to view and then make sure I have object outline showing so I can see this. I'm going to expand this a bit and then I'm going to come to my tools under the eSuite set of tools. Let me just come to eSuite section. I'm going to click on my product browser and then I'm going to draw in here. I'm going to go ahead and then expand this a bit so that it fits in my layer I have in here. I'm going to make sure this is um, positioned in the center that is on both um, section that's vertical and horizontally and then I'm going to um, Go ahead and then center this. I'm going to right click, go to page properties, and then I'm going to set the alignment to center horizontally. And then let me just make sure I center the layer as well. So I'm going to change the alignment to center, and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now, when I double click on the issued set of tools, there are a couple of options available here. Now, what is very important at this state has to do with the issued ID. Now, let's go to our browser and then get our issued ID. So I have my browser open here. I'm going to go to eSuite.com. I already have a demo account with eSuite, so I'm going to log in to my demo account and then I'll use that in my eSuite set of tools in Wizard Web Builder. So I'm going to come to login and then I'll go ahead and log in into my account. So as you can see, I have my account here. I have logged in into my account. And then what I'm going to need has to do with my ID. Now, when I scroll to the very bottom, you see store ID here. Also, when you take a look at the link in the browser, at this section, you see my store ID here. So all I'm going to do is to copy this particular number or copy this one, which is the same thing. And then I'll come back to my WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14. And then I'm going to paste that in my eSuite ID here. So when I go ahead and paste this, I'll go ahead and then uh, hit on OK or I can go through the options I have in here. But I think I'm fine with the options I have here. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now, my store has already been configured in eSuite or on eSuite website. So I don't really have anything more to do. So all I have to do is to preview my project. So I'm going to go ahead to hit on the um, preview icon here. And this is going to load in my browser so that I see how my store is going to look like. Now the reason or the issue behind 
using layers is that anytime you build your store and it has a lot of pages you end up getting some kind of a scroll bar in here which isn't really the best option or isn't really a good fit now we can get rid of this particular scroll bar here by using layout grid so that is why i would choose to use layout grid as compared to using layers and building my issues store so i'm going to get rid of my layer here and then i'm going to use layout grid but before then i'm going to create a master page which is going to have my header and then my footer so i'm going to come to my project and then i'm going to create new i just named this master or master page and then on my master page i'll need a page header so i'll come to my blocks and then i'm going to select a page header since i already have some predefined um headers built here so let me just scroll up a bit let me go to the header section and then i'll select one of the headers i'll select on this and then i'll use that here now i'll lead a content placeholder so i'll come to my toolbox search for a content placeholder and then i'll draw that in here now because i'm using layout grid i'm going to double click on my content placeholder and then i'm going to change the overflow from expand to floating and then i'll hit an okay so this is going to be working with my layout grid i'll come back to my blocks and then i'll go to the footer section so that i get um, a footer i'll be using in here so let me just click on this and i move that here now because my page width is seven um, that is 970 pixels i'm going to double click on this and change the that is a maximum width from the space the empty space there to 970 pixels I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now, let me just go ahead and preview this in my browser and see if it's actually giving me what I need. So, as you can see, I have that showing here. Now, there's, there isn't any space because I'm, I haven't brought any content there. So, let's come back to our web builder. And then I'm going to go to the index page. Now, let me just move this issued tools uh, a bit to the right. And then I'm going to get started with my layout grid. So, I'll come to my toolbox, search for layout grid. I click on that and then I draw in here. Now this by default comes with two columns. I can go ahead and create more columns. Now because I'll be using um, a different set of e tools here, that is I'll be using the search as well as um, mini cut. So let me just click on the search. I'll draw here. Let me come back to the tools and then I'll click on mini cut. Let me just come back here, click on mini cut and then draw in here. So I have my mini cut. Now I'm going to expand this a bit to get a size of my shopping bag here so this is fine and then i'm going to move that into my right hand side of my that is my layout grid and i'm going to double click on this and set the alignment to the right side and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok i'll move my search to the left hand side let me just go ahead and expand this a bit and then i'll make sure let me just get my two box come here look for the layout grid so i'm just going to draw here i'm going to double click on this get rid of my column and make sure i have only one column i'll go ahead and hit an okay and then i'm going to move this particular search into this and then i'll move this into this now the reason is because i want to be able to make sure this moves down some few pixels so that it stays in the middle with a shopping bag so i'm going to double click on this i'll come to the part on top and then i'll set this to let's say about 80 Let's see where that is going to take it so that takes it um very to the bottom so let's come here and maybe set about 40 and then this takes us a bit above let's make this 50 and see i think 50 is fine so i'll be working with 50 and then let me just double click on this and make sure i set the maximum width to 970 pixels so i'll go ahead and set this to 970 and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok now i'll come back to my two box and then i'm going to bring layout grid again because I would be using my eSuite, that is a product browser in my layout grid. And I'm going to go ahead to reduce the size of this. And then I'm going to double click on my layout grid. I'll first of all, get rid of this column. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. And I'm going to move this into my layout grid here. Now I'm going to double click on my layout grid again and set a couple of options. So I'm going to set the pattern to the top to about 10. And then to the bottom to also about 10. So as you can see, I have my maximum width to be 970. And then the column height, I'm going to change this from auto to 100 VH. And then I'll make sure I change my overflow from none to hidden. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Let's go ahead and preview this in our browser. 
we have a vertical scroll here because we haven't um, enabled one option in our issued settings or issued set of two so i'll come in here i'll double click on my product browser and when i come to the very bottom that says layout grid and then i'm going to come to the um, full width section when i come to the option i have a couple of options in here so this one is width should be 100 percent and then height should be auto i want width to be 100 percent height to be fixed width should be um, fixed height should be auto so based on the options here one that you to you is what you're going to um, use so i'm going to be using width to be fixed and then the height should be auto the reason is because i i want my width to be 970 pixels and i don't want it to exceed that so i'll go ahead and then hit an ok let me preview this once more in my browser and see how that comes out so as you can see i have my page under normal circumstance the size of my e-suite should even shouldn't even get to this particular um you know option or bring you this um, number of products but because i'm using layout grid as you can see i have my store um, set here and i don't have any kind of overflow in here now i don't have this um, other options showing let me just come here and then take care of that so i'm going to double click on this first of all get my store id from here copy this and then i'm going to paste that here so that i can have my um back showing there now i'm going to when i come here you see i, I also have an option for that is um layout grid i'm not going to um change anything here i think i'll leave this as a test let me just go ahead and hit an okay and then with my search also let me just paste my store id here i'll go ahead and hit an okay and then i'm going to preview this once more in my browser so i have my store um search here i have my product and that's shopping back here it doesn't really look good let me just come here and then maybe i think i can change some settings of it so let me just take a look at this and see how this is going to be so this is going to be auto let me change that to be 100 percent um width let me just make it auto height auto width and then i'm going to repeat the process for the search as well let me just go ahead and preview this once more and see how that is going to look it doesn't really make any difference but anyway you can um, play with the options available to it here let me just see this and i'm going to change this um to let's just say this one let me go ahead and preview this it still doesn't really make any difference but at the end of the day you have a couple of options available with um your issued set of tools i think uh, why is this expanded let me just change this to false and then i'm go ahead and then reduce the size of this let me i can increase the size of this to take away the overflow of getting this let me just do that and then let me just go ahead and preview this once more and then i think it should be fine now okay i have my shopping bag here now i can click on a product it gives me the details i can add to bag and then when i come to bag i can open my bag and then as you can see i have everything showing here because of um, i think my page header i use from the blog isn't really a best fit so that's how come i have this been run into it so let me just come here and i can easily get rid of that and then use something else so let me just come to my tools maybe i can bring a layout grid here and then i'll move it to the very top so this is going to come here let me just change the style of it to a solid color let's see about black I'll come back to the general get rid of my layout that is on one column i'll go ahead and hit an ok let me come to the two box and then maybe bring a navigation to inside so i'll come to the navigation set of tools maybe i can use a css menu here so i just draw in here and then i'll move this into my layout grid let me just reduce the height of it and then let me come back to my index page preview this and see how that is going to be so I have my, as you can see, I don't have this running into my header now. I can come back here and even set part into the top for this. So this is going to be about 10. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. I can come to the master page and then change this from, um, that is full to, let's see, 970 pixels. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Let me just preview this once more and make sure everything is fine. And as you can see, this is staying within um, my 970 pixels frame. And then I have my shopping cart here. I can click on a product. It gives me the details. I can add to cart and then I can open my bag. 
and as you can see i have everton showing here fine so that is how to work with the issue set of tools and which will be at version 14 you can do same in version 12 and it's going to be fine and then my reason behind choosing layout grid over layers using issue set of tools so that is it thank you very much for watching bye for now